Hi guys, we're back. So, we're folded all the signatures. That's what it looks like. And here we have 20 signatures of five sheet each. So that means there's 400 pages right here. But normally when you have a book, we, we do like to have some pages. That's another, another one, which is also simple. But as you can see, the, there are some inner pages where you might want to glue feathers or uh, leaves, whatever. So we're gonna do it this. This is actually Sonia's Bissonette's Grimoire that we're working on. And she chose color red. So here we have two signatures and we are going to put the signatures in that color at the end and the beginning of the book. So we'll do the same operation as well, which is fold them as you've seen. Make sure that the edges are lined up. Put your finger, the index finger on top, put it flat on the board, hold them with two hands, drive your thumbs downwards and squish it horizontally so that it will be nice. There you go. This will be at the beginning of the book and we'll do the same for the end. <clears throat> there you go. So this book has actually right now, since we got uh, two signatures, which have four sheets inside 438 pages. Next step that we will be looking at is how to make the holes. Uh, in the very beginning when I didn't have so much experience about it, I would mark it and with a needle, I would punch every hole. But that doesn't guarantee that they're going to be lined up. And the problem is when you sew the pages or the signatures together, it, there might be like half a millimeter or they might you know, be on the left, on the right, and so on and so forth, which you don't want to do. So the next step will be to actually grab all your pages, all your signatures, and put them in a press. And then after measuring, usually my spacing is one inch, but you can actually put two inches, three inches between each hole. It depends how you want it. But think about that. When we'll place these pages on the loom that I will show you later, uh, that it's way more work if you have more holes, obviously, right? And so what we'll do once uh, we measure the distance here, uh, we'll mark lines on the spine of the book, and then we'll bind them very tightly on a press, and with a hacksaw, we'll make a slit everywhere, and that will go about let's say a sixteenth of an inch in depth, and that will give you the holes perfectly matched for each signature. And when we place it one by one on the loom, it will be easier for them to line up when you sew them. That is it, I'll see you later. Bye.